it's been two weeks I think since I did a vlog because last week on my days off I was poorly <laughs> I had rice crispies and chocolate only two pieces like that big right and this is 85% as well and I melted it and put it into the rice crispies it's my, like my favourite um, snack and you think it's harmless enough but I think the combination of sugar from the chocolate and the rice krispies it just made me feel whack out and I just felt really bad and I felt like I was inflamed in my body so I found some paracetamol and took them because I was getting a migraine next thing I know I've been asleep for like 18 hours <laughs> turns out I took codamol instead and I don't even have things like that I only have paracetamol and I thought I didn't have anything like that in the caravan. I'd forgotten I'd been giving it for Paul. Anyway, knocked me flat out. So I was like in a coma for most of my days off. So back to three days ago when I was at work, um, the sea was gorgeous. It was so clear and shiny. Paul took the dogs down in the kayak and managed to get them both in it and paddled over to Trally Bay and I was really chuffed I think so I'm not sure that's my phone ringing anyway it took them over there which means they can go in it now I missed out on that because I wanted to film them going in the kayak because it would be great but I did it while I was in work and then later on I went out and I went right out in the bay and then came back and I did it twice and I had a great time but the night after which was two nights ago I thought I'll just do it again so I went down in the kayak got in there <clears throat> started going out and it was quite not really rough but just enough to feel like I was on a roller coaster and the kayak was like bobbing like this and I turned it side on into the waves and the waves came crashing over into the kayak and I started freaking out and I went get me out of here now so I was out there for 10 seconds and then came in and I says to him I'm really I want to go out there with somebody else and just have an experience by going somewhere actually on a trip but I'd feel more confident if somebody was with me so we've put half towards and bought a new one and it'll come within the next two weeks and that's um, a single kayak so I will go on that one and Paul and the doggies will go on this one and then we can all go out together as a gang and take picnics and stuff on our days off the weather so unpredictable like you just can't say we'll do it today tomorrow next week because it's just not good is it I, too bad now but there's no sun I'm, I wanted to sunbathe but it's it's not sunbathing weather but so yeah um, everything is kind of back to normal I've just been into Auburn and it was packed and it was lovely and I said this is how I remember Auburn and I haven't seen it like that for uh, over 18 months so it was nice to see everything open and people outside and shops busy and stuff so but I, I'm not going to say anything else about it I think everyone knows I don't buy into all this it's back to you know what because it's not you just got to live life now every day make the most of it and just do what you can while you can so <clears throat> I've got a psychic tomorrow a psychic meeting at seven o'clock on skype and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because my daughter uh, went with this guy and she messaged me and she said he was really good and he's got some messages for you and I went right okay so there's one for my nana and one for my dad and the reading he did for her was really good so I thought I'm gonna have one so I've booked him so I've had to wait for two weeks so tomorrow night at seven o'clock Skype meeting and 
I'm sorry, no, it's not tomorrow at seven. I think it's tomorrow dinner time because I think we changed. Anyway, it's tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow dinner time. So this is a Skype one, but he's going to record it. So I thought this will be interesting. So I spoke to my nana, who's been dead for like 20, 23 years or something like that. And I says to her, I want you to go to this guy, right, this psychic, and I want you to say coffee. If you say that word, then I know that it's you. Now, this guy doesn't know I have YouTube about because he doesn't know me at all. So he doesn't know anything about me. So he wouldn't know that I was having this conversation right now. So I can say it before I have this meeting. But I thought this would be interesting, wouldn't it? If he comes out and goes, I don't know why, but I can smell coffee around me. Oh, I'm getting the word coffee and I don't know why. Then I know my nana's there. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. And I'll probably do a vlog on that one to see what he says. Um, but yeah, that was quite cool. <coughs> so I've just bought some more plants for the pitch. I've got some tomatoes. I've got three different types and I've got strawberries and some flowers. So they're going to go out in a minute. I need to clean up. Oh, for God's sake. I live on my own like student like a teenager and a, a slob i just don't know what it is it, and and the funny thing about this caravan is it does it without trying it's like you come in and it's a tip and and it's just the the fact you're in it <laughs> it's just i think it just sees you and falls apart like a person like I can't do this anymore. You know when you when you have that last conversation before you went and you go, I just can't do this anymore. I think my caravan's doing it to me. I think my caravan is saying, please no, I don't want you here. Just, <laughs> just leave. And then I'll be clean and tidy. But anyway, the other day I had a cabbage butterfly in my caravan. And if you've ever seen a cabbage butterfly, the very very pale green so if you're up against a white wall you can see it's like this really pale green but when they flutter they go see-through and they look like fairies so i took that as a sign because it was here for two days and then black feathers i've been finding so i think definitely got people around me and it's that like paul's coming i'll have to go it ruins everything for me <laughs> 